I can count my life in four-year segments. And so I, I was born between Brazil playing Uruguay in the 1970 semi, 70 semifinal and then playing Italy in the 1970 final. And so I know exactly where I fit in the football, football universe. In Brazil, there was, there was an era of big stadium building that um, reflected the era in which the stadium was built. And so the Maracanã, for example, was built in between 1948 and 1950 in, a, in an era of post-World War II optimism for Brazil. And the Maracanã was a self-conscious construction to reflect that, to kind of embody the aspirations of the nation within the stadium. And in that it had capacity for 179,000 people. It had very, it had different tiers of seating that reflected the poor, the middle class, and then the a very small section for the elite, but a really big open area for just anybody to go to. A stadium that has very elegant lines on the outside and very innovative engineering for the time of a, of a massive cantilevered roof uh, that had no visible supports. And it had a, an elliptical shape um, that resonated from the roof to the, to the stands, to the moat around the field, to the field itself. And so there was a sense of, of harmony between the field and the sky. From the stands you could look through various um, interesting geometries to see the mountains and to see the Cristo up above the stadium. So you had this connection between the city and the, and the natural environment and the inside of the stadium as well, and so it wasn't isolated. But the president of the agency, of the IFAN agency, declared that the only thing that mattered was that the, that the Maracanã could host a World Cup game. Therefore, anything went. They destroyed the, the stands, ripped it, they just scraped the whole thing bare. Uh, and all the, the places where millions and millions and millions of Brazilians had cheered for decades and gone with their uncles and their grandfathers and their fathers and their sisters and their mothers and their cousins to cheer for those teams. That very physical space was just destroyed and then little pieces of it were sold as souvenirs at the same time that this new stadium was put in its place. You know, in the 60s and 70s before, the, before football violence became a problem, the fans would change sides um, of the field because they wanted to stand behind the goal of their team. And so they would change sides at halftime. And so you had this real fluidity of movement, this creative, open space. The whole point of the World Cup or the Olympics or any of these big events is to showcase something about the country. It's a signal to the world, this is what we are. This is, you know, invest here, like us, come visit, uh, appreciate us in some way. And I think that this initiative uh, for the opening game with a paraplegic kid with a, with a robot body is, is fantastic and it shows the real potential of Brazilian scientists and the real rich intellectual tradition that Brazil has. And I'm going to fly to Natal back and forth in one day to see the U.S. play Ghana as a birthday present to myself. <laughs>